Okay, so you know that episode of Lassie where the dog barks and then someone thinks that Timmy fell down a well? No, me neither, because it's just a joke and it's never actually happened on TV. Either way, something similar did happen in real life though, and it's probably gonna shock you. So to kinda explain it really quickly, there's a German Shepherd called Buddy, who's known as a hero when it guided an Alaskan state trooper through a series of long winding roads to a fire back at his house. Apparently Buddy the dog ran ahead of the state trooper's car, leading him along the way and even stopping for the car at the very beginning so they could see him and follow them back. So yeah, basically without the dog's help his owner would have definitely died, because the state trooper's GPS had completely broken down and he had no clue where to go. Now when the trooper and Buddy eventually arrive at the owner's home, you can tell what a dangerous situation they're in, with the fire blazing so strong that it actually caught a few trees and the majority of the house in flames. Now because of Buddy's heroic actions, the trooper was actually able to save the owner's life and that's why it takes our number 5 spot. story of a dog leading a state trooper down a rural road to a burning house. Bill Hendricks was working in the shed next to his home uh, north of Anchorage, Alaska when a spark accidentally ignited some gasoline. The shed went up in flames and he led his German shepherd Buddy out and fled himself and as he went out he said we got to get help and with that Buddy took off running. Number four. On New Year's Eve, a 64-year-old man named Bob started to feel pretty cold halfway through the Fiesta Bowl game between Clemson and Ohio State. It was around 10.30 at night and he decided to go and get some wood for his fireplace. Now since he was just hanging around in his home, he was only wearing like a pair of jeans, a shirt, and a pair of slippers, and it was the slippers that ultimately caused the issue. Apparently outside his house, the ground was really slippery, and the slippers had barely any grip on the bottom of them, so in result, he slipped over pretty much instantly and broke his neck. Now when Bob began to call out for help, it didn't really work as the closest neighbor lived almost a quarter mile away, so there's no way they'd hear him. And so yeah, at that point Bob would have probably died due to the extreme cold in the situation, but luckily for him, someone else was listening out for his cries. Kelsey is Bob's 5 year old golden retriever and she kept Bob warm by lying on top of him and kept him awake with licks on his face and hands. Eventually Bob's neighbor heard Kelsey's howls and he was taken to the safety of a hospital and treated for his injuries. I'm not even joking, according to the doctors, if Kelsey hadn't been there, Bob would definitely be dead. On New Year's Eve, 64-year-old Bob of Petico, Michigan, was watching the Fiesta Bowl between Clemson and Ohio State. It was around 10.30 p.m. when he decided to go outside and fetch some more wood for his fireplace, wearing only long johns, slippers, and a shirt. His poor choice of footwear made him slip and the fall left him unable to move. The man started screaming for help, but his closest neighbor's house is a quarter of a mile away, and at that hour, there was no one around to help him. Luckily, his five-year-old golden retriever came to help. Kelsey, a golden retriever, kept Bob warm by lying on top of him and kept him awake by licking his hands and face. She kept barking for help, but never left my side. She kept me warm and alert. I knew I had to persevere through this, and that was my only choice to stay alive. Bob's neighbor eventually discovered him after hearing Kelsey's howl and called 911. Number three. One of the biggest worries for a dog trying to save their owner is the fact that they may get caught up by some police officer before they get to complete their mission. That's what the dog from this clip had to deal with before he was able to save his owner. Now at first the cop tried to catch the dog, but the dog managed to avoid him and lead him straight back to his owner. To the cop's surprise, the owner was unresponsive in their pajamas and sitting in a chair at her front door. According to the officer, the woman was still breathing, but very cold to touch, and that apparently it was very close to her not being saved. The woman supposedly has a heart condition which is triggered by the extremely cold weather in the area, so if the dog hadn't found the officer and brought him back home, she would have never pulled through. That was evident early this morning when John Boy was found running around the Autumn Ridge neighborhood off of County Line Road. He stood there and barked for a little bit, and uh, then I rolled down my window and called to him, and uh, then he kind of wagged his tail and got a little more friendly until I got out of the car, and then he ran a little bit. John Boy had a plan for Officer Gonzalez. I gotta believe that at this point. Yeah, he sure did. He pointed me in the right direction. The three year old lab led the officer up the street to this house where his owner, Crystal, was unresponsive, slumped over in a chair outside her front door, still in her pajamas. To be honest with you, I thought she was dead. 
and uh, when I went up she was obviously very cold to the touch her lips were blue um, but I was able to determine that she was breathing and had a pulse and uh, I, I called for assistance and my partner was very close so together we got her in the house number two Okay, so it's kind of obvious that most people buy dogs to have a loving family pet, but some buy them specifically to protect their property, and I think that's the case here. Basically, in this video, a guy is sitting down doing some work at his desk when he sees something outside and goes to have a look with his dog right behind him. It turns out that there was a guy outside trying to force his way into the building, but honestly, he just chose the wrong one. Essentially, the guy's dog was not happy with the aggression the guy was displaying and immediately jumped in and attacked the intruder. Now, the intruder obviously didn't feel like getting his arm ripped off by an angry dog because he pretty much immediately ran away. But if the situation escalated, the intruder could have easily killed the owner, meaning the dog practically just saved his life. Number 1 Now this video is pretty much, well, a miracle because it shows a blind dog basically rescuing a little girl from drowning which I find almost unbelievable. So there's a really, really long story behind this, but to sum it up quickly, Norma the dog was adopted when he was a year old, but after a short while, the person who adopted him realized there was something wrong with the dog. He was always like walking into things as if he didn't know where they were, and after going to a vet they discovered he was slowly going blind. Now one day a girl called Lisa was swimming in the river by the beach when a current suddenly started to rush in and pull her out and under the water. Now she was trying to swim against the current, but it was no use as it was just way too strong, meaning she was slowly being dragged away. Luckily for Lisa though, that day Norman was at the beach and he heard screams, so he jumped into the sea and started swimming straight toward the drowning girl. But crazily enough, the danger doesn't end there. It turns out that when Lisa saw Norman, she stopped screaming, thinking she was saved, and not realizing that Norman was blind. Luckily the dog's owner had caught up at this point and told the girl to call out Norman's name, which she did. Eventually Norman heard her and managed to swim over to the girl and dragged her back to safety, saving the girl's life. So yeah, even though he was blind and the girl was so weak, he was still able to pull off a miracle. A current started to form and it um, got deeper and I remember I got pushed away from my brother and all of a sudden it dropped off and the river got deep and I couldn't touch the bottom. All of a sudden he cocked his head and started barreling down the beach and I'd never seen him run like that before. The blind dog raced over 150 yards down the beach. Over the roar of the water, he had heard something that no human ear could detect. I realized that everything's gonna be okay. I'm, I'm gonna be all right. But when she stopped screaming, Norman lost his bearings. By now, Lisa's strength was gone and she began to be swept away. And I got really weak. From the shore, Annette desperately yelled out to her, telling her to call Norman's name. Norman didn't stop until he reached the voice. Lisa managed to grab onto him, and he towed her back toward the sound.